To get financial reports from Amazon to Excel is actually very easy. So you can go to reports and click on payments or from the main page, click on, for example, the balance or recent payments, and that will take you to the same page. Uh, you then go to transaction view, and then you choose uh, the period you want or custom day range. I use custom day range because I like to do it monthly. Then just type the day. Uh, so I choose the first of the month. I'm gonna do the February and the last day of the February. I think it was the 28th this year. Uh, there were no 29 days this, uh, this year, okay. And then just click update. Now you have all the transactions. By the way, I'm in the UK, Amazon UK. So I've got the transaction list. The only thing I need to do is just verify the dates seem to be okay. Here the dates are all right. I can also see, I should be able to see the dates somewhere here at the top. Uh, date range, the 1st of February, yes, something like this. Okay, but I'm interested in, so I'm interested in the dates here. These seem to be correct and that seems to be correct, okay. So all transactions types, uh, and I'm just clicking download. Okay, Chrome, okay, has downloaded this. I'm gonna open this report. Okay, so that's the full report. A uh, part of this is of the report is outside of the screen, so I, you, uh, you can't see it. So I'm gonna highlight everything. Uh, press Control C, or I can also press copy here. And then I simply go to Excel and I paste it. Don't worry about those colors here uh, for the time being. Now, as you can see, I have already prepared the template. So uh, you see what I get from Amazon, those top, uh, the headlines, the headers here, uh, they're exactly the same. So I'm gonna uh, delete them and I do it by highlighting everything and clicking on the side and click delete. That deletes all the rows. Um, now, if you want to do this by yourself, obviously you can uh, use the uh, formatting tools here or those tools here. And to get the filters, like I have them here, you simply go to data and click filters and they, and they appear on all the columns uh, which have something in them, in the headers or in the place where you highlight it. Okay, so now I have it highlighted. Uh, what do I do? What's the next step? Uh, so I'm going to now remove these, uh, the formatting here. Um, and I'm, so I'm going to click normal. And now what I'm interested in is in separating refunds from everything else. So I do uh, refunds only. I highlight refunds. Uh, I highlight and the way I like to do it is just those three Actually, no, those five columns. I don't want to highlight anything else, or sometimes even just those three. Uh, and then I click on bad, this formatting. It doesn't mean that it's bad, it's just it's named bad, but um, it, it's just a name basically. It's the way it's formatted, so red, I like it. Okay, then what I do, I go to uh, order payments, and then I highlight this, which is so the money I get from Amazon. Uh, and then I highlight it in green. The other thing that I do, I make sure that everything that has got a number here, which is the number of sold items, has got a number different from zero. Uh, and if there is a zero, it's a promo rebate, you need to delete it. Uh, I don't know why Amazon adds that, but uh, it's just confusing and I normally delete it. Okay, so that's, um, that's UK. Now we're going to do the same thing for Euro and i'm gonna show you how e easy it is actually so i'm going back to amazon now here's the interesting thing i'm clicking now on germany and now the only thing i need to do i need to click back in my browser and i will get exactly the same report you see the first of february the 28th of february why because the links are exactly the same uh, no matter that's very good uh, about Amazon no matter which market I mean the links are the same and all the information is encoded in the link so I get exactly the same reports just in case I check okay the date seem, seems to be all right and I just click download okay again I get the report I open it I copy it and then I paste it to Excel so paste okay uh-huh 
very nice. And again, I'm going to delete this. Delete, okay. Now, there is one more thing I do in Europe. Actually, I uh, make sure that I highlight, actually not highlight, that I mark what market it's from, just in case sometimes it's useful. So Germany, uh, okay, Germany finishes here. So I've got France, okay, I don't have France. I'm just gonna copy France just in case, so I have it for later. Oops. So I have it for later. Okay, France, that's good. And now I'm going to um, copy the Germany up to here. Okay, done. Now I'm gonna press escape to uncopy this because otherwise Excel will behave in a funny way. All right. And then I'm going now back to Amazon. Uh, I'm gonna close this report just in case. Back to Amazon and again, France. Then I'm going back and I've got the report. Again, very few sales this time in France. So download, open, control A, control C, paste. I need to actually go to the first column. Yeah, I'm doing this on a smaller screen than normally. Okay, uh, control V, okay. Uh -huh. Highlight, delete, go to the end. Now this is France, so I'm going to copy France up to, where is it here, or oh, a bit higher, let me just check. 5th of February, that's here, just only, okay, those, those things, mm, 12th, no, 26th of February. I'm gonna now verify again, it started on the 26th of February, okay, you need to be careful with those things, yeah, so this is France, so two more. Uh-huh, again, mistake, here we go, yeah, France, one more, one more, yeah, okay, is it good, yeah, that's good now, okay, that's France, uh, and then the last line of France is this one, make sure it's last, okay, and after France I will have uh, Italy, so I'm going to move Italy, here okay I'm gonna close this again the report go back to Amazon and do the same for Italy and Spain excellent now everything's sorted okay now as I said I'm gonna do what I said before I am gonna uh, do the formatting correctly I'm gonna highlight this I've got some extra calculations here, not necessary, they're, they're just for me. Okay, now, so same thing, I'm gonna go to, okay, we've got many, many more things here. So I'm gonna start with refund, okay, I'm gonna highlight the fields that I'm interested in, I'm gonna do this, then I'm gonna do all the payments, okay, I'm gonna highlight them, for me that's important, you don't need to do it, but for me it's important, I really want to have it uh, in a nice order, oh, actually uh, it was. It needs to be green, okay, and then I have uh, service charges, uh, which I'm going to actually highlight now in yellow, and actually I'm going to do it uh, here as well, in the UK, service fees, highlight in yellow it's much more easier than to analyze uh, everything okay uh, and then we've got blanks and paid to Amazon reseller program okay do I need this uh, just in case I'm just gonna highlight it in, in something different maybe uh, I don't know what maybe or something like this okay looks good then I'm gonna click clear filter from transaction Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna check if there are any promo rebates. Uh, I can see there are, so as I said, I'm going to highlight promo rebates. And now uh, I, I can see the amount is zero, apart from this, which is minus three, I'm gonna leave it. But all these that say zero, I'm really going to get rid of them because otherwise 
um, those numbers will not add up for me. If you're doing it different way, it might work for you. For me, it doesn't work because I count those numbers of sales. And if, if I count this, which is zero, it just, it's not, um, it's not what really happened. I don't know again why Amazon does it, but delete this, discount this, uh, that is not actually correct, at least not in the way I, I do it. So uh, basically that's it. And now you're ready to analyze all your charges, all your sales uh, and so on and so on. Now, um, if you're copying from a uh, Euro, you might, or uh, Euro, sorry, Eurozone, you might get a comma here instead of a dot, which is the European way. Uh, but I think now Amazon has corrected it. And if it detects that I'm in the UK, it does it the English way for both markets, uh, at least in the reports, or maybe Excel does it. Actually, let, let's see, what does it say in this? Uh, yeah, the report is correct already, yeah. So before I needed to correct it, now it's correct. Uh, uh, so it's all good so if you have any questions uh, let me know by the way um, uh, if you need a way to print Amazon uh, FBA labels uh, to a to a printer to a zebra printer or Dymo printer you can use AZ labels or or easy labels whatever you want to call them I'll put the link under the video uh, you can subscribe now you get uh, I think up to 100 uh, free labels a month and 10 shipping labels a month for free and then you just just need to pay some extra uh, money not a lot of uh, money but it makes the whole process of printing FBA labels really easy so thank you for watching guys and uh, take care